Hello everyone, welcome to the course. We'll be starting our candlestick module from scratch. So let's begin. So what are candlesticks? I'll be explaining this in a very simplified form. So all of my students can learn in a very effective way. So let's begin. In the early 18th century, there was a Japanese businessman named Monahisa Homa. He developed a technical analysis method to analyze the price of rice contracts. He was a rice future trader and is also known as the grandfather of candlesticks. Today this technique is called candlestick charting and is widely used when we draw financial market charts. The prices on the charts of the financial market assets which we see are denoted by the candlesticks. The candlesticks are very helpful while trading and investing as they show us four price points the opening price of an asset, the closing price of an asset, the high and the low. These play a very crucial role in our trading and investing journey. Candlesticks are used by traders and investors for looking certain chart patterns, candlestick patterns on the chart. Each candlestick has a story to tell. Candlesticks are the language of the market. They give us a picture what is going behind the scenes in the market. Either the sellers are in the control or the buyers are in the control or if there is a tug of war between them. That is why it is very crucial to understand them. There are two types of candlesticks, the bullish and the bearish. This is a hypothetical example. I will be covering a real chart example also. Let's suppose for example if we go to tradingview.com to analyze any chart pair. So for this purpose, I have opened the Bitcoin daily time frame chart. The bullish candlestick shows us the opening price of an asset on this specific day. What was the opening price and what was the closing price of an asset? And these wicks, which uh, you can see, these shows us the highest price and the lowest price of an asset on this specific day. The price, as you can see, the price made a high but closed, the price, the price went all the way up but closed at this specific point. Vice versa for the bearish candlestick. The, the price opened here at the bearish candlestick and closed at this point. In this bearish candlestick, the price dropped, hence the closing price was this. I have opened the Bitcoin daily chart. As you can see the candlesticks, the green candlesticks represent the bullish candlesticks and the bearish candlesticks represent as red. So these are the standard colors on every chart. You can change them to your desired color in the settings. So these are the default settings on every chart. You will see the green one for the bullish and the red one for the bearish. So for this purpose, let me show you the real life example now this one as you can see this green candle this is the bullish candlestick so now on 24 september 2020 the opening price of bitcoin was ten thousand two hundred forty eight dollars this was the opening price of the bitcoin this was the closing price of the bitcoin at ten thousand seven hundred and thirty five dollars and this was the this week was the highest which is at around ten thousand seven hundred and ninety one and the lowest price on this day was at ten thousand one hundred and ninety two this is the bullish candlestick as you can see this in the bit the bitcoin on this specific day the price opened here and closed at this point so now let me show you the bearish example now as you can see this is the bearish uh, candlestick the price on this specific day at 23 September 2020 opened at $10,531 and closed around $10,237 the price made an high uh, price made almost no high a small wick around $20 above and the price made a low at ten thousand one hundred and thirty two dollars.
this was the low these were the candlesticks we'll be learning candlestick patterns in the next module it is going to be very thrilling i'm excited to teach you looking forward stay tuned everyone